Hi, this is Andy Doctor. Today, I am going to show you how to make the rear view camera work at any time, including driving on the highway at highway speed. Now, if you ask, why do you want to do this? Well, I do this because it is much easier for me to park my car in, a, in my garage now. Or somebody towing a trailer may want to see how their trailer look like. However, it's probably illegal somewhere to use it when you are driving on the highway at highway speed. So do it at your own risk. This video is just for education purpose. You are responsible for whatever you do. Just please keep that in mind. But with this being said, let's look. Now, obviously, my rear view camera is not on because the car is currently in P. And so here it is. I am going to change my gear to on you look hey it is on right i'm going to put it back to p again it's obviously off but look i have a switch beautiful isn't it and again like i said as long as you turn on the switch it will be on including at highway speed now I am going to tell you the electrical connection, how to do it on a computer with electrical diagram. Um, the idea should work for any car with any aftermarket system. So there's no point showing you the, the wire and the connection on this car. It's for any car. But again, you do it with your own risk. So let's go to the computer and I will tell you the idea behind this setup. So this is a typical setup of a rear view camera system. You have the camera out here. The camera has a power wire. It is grounded. You have the signal wire connected from the camera to the head units. And then you have two red color pigtail. This pigtail is actually connected physically within the signal wire also. So whenever one side gets power, the other side will get power. You also have a reverse signal connected to the head units, which is pink color. And how do you get video behind your car? Well, typically you will connect these two wires together, also connect these two wires, and then provide the system with 12 volts voltage. And in this case, as you can see, the reverse wire will get 12 volts. The head unit will say, hey, I'm ready to pick up whatever the rear view camera give me. Also, the 12 volt will travel through the pigtail all the way to the other side of the pigtail and then connect it to the power wire of the rear view camera. The rear view camera is active. It will feed whatever it see to the head unit. This is how it works. Of course, it gets a little bit more complicated than this. Remember, we want to see the rear view picture whenever we put to off so in reality for almost every car they again will connect these two wires together connect these two sides together and then it will connect it to the reverse light so you probably know that behind your car there are two lights that connect it to reverse whenever you put into off that two light will receive 12 volt and they will be turned on so in this case Whenever you put into R, not only your lights are on, the 12 volt will travel all the way to the rear view camera and also all the way to the reverse wire of the head unit. So the head unit will pick up the signal from the rear view camera and you can now see what's behind your car. Simple like that. But I hope you realize that you really don't need the gear selector. All you need is actually a switch out here. As long as you close the switch, everything will work. So it sounds like this is simple, right? We only need to do this to get real view picture whenever you want. But there's a problem. The problem though is you lose the default of 
changing the gear to R and see the behind of your car. You have to close the switch every time, which is of course not ideal. So because of that, we went one step further. We basically combined the two systems. We still keep the default system, but we actually somehow get power from the battery and then using a switch and then the power will connect it to the system again and whenever the switch is closed then the system will get power just like we said just now and you see what's behind your car and conveniently almost every head unit will have an antenna amplifier wire which is not used usually you can just get the power from that that wire is active whenever the head unit is active so and of course that wire somehow get the power from the battery i do not know how and that's why i put dash line out here even if the that wire is used you can still splice it and get the power from that no problem with that so in this case as you can see now we could get real view whenever we change to r or we can just do it by closing the switch no matter when actually even when the car is travel at highway speed but there is another problem if you do it this way when the car is not in r you actually do not want the reverse light to be on but look if you close out here the 12 volt going to travel all the way to the reverse light and the light will be on so if you're driving on the highway and you close it yes you see what's behind you people behind you also see your reverse light come on that's not nice at all well how could we fix that really simple we are going to take advantage of a device called dial so for dial they will limit electricity to go in one direction not the opposite way so this is a dial it will allow electricity to go from the left to right but not right to left so with this dial you look you change to r the power will pass without problem to the rear view camera and to the head unit you get picture okay but if it is not in r in any other type of, for the gear you close the switch you still get picture of what's behind you but the power will not be able to pass through the dial and go to the reverse light anymore because it's against its direction okay so that should be it of course just for fun i in fact put another one out here which is honestly not necessary but whatever so anyhow this is the idea behind this setup uh, I hope it is good enough for you. You obviously welcome to ask any question if it is not clear. Uh, and if you do not know where to get dial or the switch, I actually have link to Amazon for you in the description. Welcome to buy from there or anywhere else. And hopefully this video is helpful for you. If so, I hope that you can like this video or even better, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.